Hi, this is Linda Shell with Writers on the Air afterwards, and today we're interviewing Lily. Lily, what's your last name? Rogers. Rogers. And where are you from, Lily? I'm from Deptford, New Jersey. She is from New Jersey. She's a New Jersey girl. <laughs> and you're here on vacation with your mom. And my, my mom, my dad, and I came down and we we're visiting my grandparents. And you're going on a little bit of a cruise, aren't you? Yes, we are. We're first time for me. <laughs> oh, I was in my 60s before I was on a cruise, so enjoy. Now, Lily is a poet. She really knocked our socks off today. And Lily, when did you start writing, or did you have an interest in writing? Um, until like fifth grade, I like treated books like they were going to burn me. I didn't like reading it. I didn't like writing. I thought it was just some annoying task I had to do. But then my teachers, they got me into reading. So then I started having ideas for like little stories. So then I started writing and then I started writing poems and it kind of just like all bled into that. What did your teachers do? What in the world did your teachers do to get you interested in writing? That seems like the $64 question. Um, they had a little library in the back, so we were welcome to that. We had our little cards. But my teachers, they were the head of the writing committee. Okay. So before that, before that year, there was like writing contests, and I wrote a little story in fourth grade, and I won one. And so they were the head of the writing committee. So they were, we had notebooks full of writing techniques they gave us. It was just, they really put a lot of effort into it. They did the same thing um, in sixth grade, just a lot more notes. And was, mm -hmm. The teachers, they were really cool. <laughs> so uh, your teachers, did, what kind of advice did they give the students to get you going? Because I think a lot of people never get off first base because they have writer's block right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Because I think it's taught incorrectly, at least when I was in school, I thought it was taught incorrectly. How did your teachers do it? Um, a lot of people, including myself, we had a lot of trouble right beginning because right. like every week we had to write an essay for the story we had read. So we all struggled with like that beginning paragraph. So they're like, you can write a quote from the book, you can write any. It was really it's really hard to remember because I go back to the notes a lot. But um, I wrote I started a lot of it with a quote, and um, yeah, it was just. <laughs> yeah, you start to they give you a quote and then your imagination takes form. It really, yeah. That's the way to do it. The way we were taught, you had to know the title first, you had to do an outline. Well, how can you do an outline if you don't know what your story is about? And even famous authors, some of them don't get a title for their book until well after they're done writing. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's why people have writer's block. But I'm telling you folks, this young lady writes like an adult. I was just blown away. And I'm not going to tell you how old she is, but she's far younger than what I would have ever, ever imagined. And we hope that you come back and visit us again. You're going to be here for a while. I hope we see you next Sunday, if it's possible. I think it is, yeah. All right. Thank you so much.